What's the crack lads and welcome back to another player pack review. Today we are taking a look at the player of the season from the Brazilian Serie A League. So yeah, the Brazilian League, there's some fairly good players in this. I've kind of left this on the long finger because I have actually bought a couple of players on this and I'm doing a review of uh, this guy, Aras, Aras Cayeta. If that's right, let me know, Brazilian-speaking people, or Spanish-speaking people, or Portuguese-speaking people, or English-speaking people. Whatever you are, lads, let me know if that pronunciation is right, because they, uh, they are terrible sometimes from me. But anyway, they are Rascaeta and Hulk are two very, very good players. I've actually bought a couple of these guys here. As you can see here, I've bought two of those, and we've also bought this guy, the centre-back as well, uh, Cuesta. Cuesta or Custa. Uh, so there are some very good players, right? These are all obviously going to be 90 team play style proficiency. Um, you're going to have Fox in the box here with unwavering and he's going to have one touch pass. There's some very unique players in this that while you look at them um, on the surface, they're not obviously going to be, you know, massively important to your squad. But I do think that there are some nice players if you are looking to do the under 2100 cup or the international cup where you have to pick one nationality because there are some good players here including hulk who you don't have to worry about team play style you don't have to waste any trainer points and he's always going to be good so we are going to go through him from lowest rated starting with the 89 overalls working all the way up to aras, Ka aras Cayeta. Um, starting with this guy Kano or Kano, Kano I think his name is, uh, obviously I don't watch as much Brazilian football as I would like, but this guy is a very good fox in the box lads, he's unwavering form, the live update is back next week as far as I know, the 11th, or maybe the week after, the 11th of January I think it's back, look at the player skills this guy has, first time shot, one touch pass, we're kind of judging these reviews on a different, um, playing field and normal players because obviously if you are looking to play with one nationality these can be some really good players here this is obviously a Ur uruguayan guy trans again he's a very good ss ss are kind of rare in the game where you have players that are able to shoot and curl the ball in with finesse shots and long range curlers and all that sort of stuff and a mixture of speed and dribbling and as i said you don't need to waste any points i would probably give this guy a skip as well though um we will see in a couple of minutes who we are going to actually buy apart from the three lads that i recommend here um we've also got this guy left midfielder um you have to make a decision lads whether you want to have like wingers that are going to be like outright you know speed acceleration uh dribbling and you know then maybe obviously ball control looking to bring an instant impact in this guy does have standard form and he does have uh super sub or sorry he doesn't have super sub so you're not going to be bringing him off the bench too much but this guy's a very interesting guy right because i'll tell you why he's got low lofted pass he's also got pinpoint crossing he also has amazing run so he's got a mixture of everything really here first time shot as well but the big thing with this lad is i'm going to be bringing a video you know how to choose between if you are a player how to choose between a left midfielder or a left winger or a right midfielder or a right winger right if you are choosing to have right midfielders and left midfielders i don't recommend simply playing neymar as a left midfielder or Vinicius Jr. as a left midfielder instead of a left winger you know like the wingers I think are the most specialized positions in eFootball so for this guy as a box-to-box -box left midfielder with 89 overall he's got really nice acceleration dribbling stats and stamina for a left midfielder plus he's also got 68 aggression which isn't too bad his low pass and lofted pass he's just a very average all-round left midfielder that will be able to help you out especially with fighting spirit if you have a team full of guys with fighting spirit you will notice a difference as well i will be covering that again we've got a fairly run-of-the-mill goalkeeper here i'm not really going to recommend this guy lads he doesn't have long throw in the player skills and on top of that, his awareness is 86 and his reflexes are 85. But even at that, it's just too low for goalkeepers that you can get. And the fact that he's a four-star nominated contract, I don't think it's worth it, right? We've also got this guy, uh, centre-back, Botafogo, I, uh, Botafogo, I think their name is. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, this guy, the only thing he's missing is um is blocker the only thing he's missing is blocker he has everything else he's got a good height he's actually got fairly solid speed and defensive awareness as well as low pass and lofted pass so he is more of a kind of a ball playing center back if you're looking for something different i don't really recommend build up 
uh, centre backs as much as some people. I still think that you need to have your defenders first and foremost as just absolute beastly defenders. I think that, you know, if you are going to have a defender, you need to have him with a very high defensive awareness. And my golden rule for defensive awareness versus the trade off with acceleration, I know people say, you know, why do I train up players, centre backs for speed and acceleration? If you've got over 90 defensive awareness on a player, on a centre back, you don't need to worry about acceleration. But if you don't, you do need to upgrade the acceleration and the speed slightly to bring that up. So if you max out a centre back when you're training him, you don't need to worry about it here. But this guy, this guy is just a little bit under the kind of meta, I think, because of that. Even though he's got really good ball playing skills, kind of ball playing skills of a DMF, really. Um, and the height and, you know, the style of that. We've also got Rene here as well. Uh, again, a very solid player. This is what I'm talking about with playing guys that are just solid across the board. This Brazilian guy, he'd be worth a punt if you are looking at getting a player involved uh, in your, you know, if you're doing a Brazilian squad only. He's got early crosser, he's got pinpoint crossing, he's got speeding bullet, he's got interception and sliding tackle. He's also got unwavering form. Really good stamina. You know, offensive awareness and defensive awareness are very, very uh, solid as well. Tackling and aggression is good. Speed and acceleration. Yeah, very solid card. I think you could do way worse than spinning a three or spending a three point nominating contract on him. Similarly, we've got this left back. He's slightly different. He's got inconsistent form, which kind of rules him out for me. I know people have said that they sometimes like to take a risk on inconsistent players. I personally wouldn't. I just don't think that there's the point. Even though he does have early crosser and pinpoint crossing, I would probably recommend um, this guy ahead of him because of his stamina. But other than that, they're very similar players. And this guy is probably a little bit better of a passer, as you can see there with 85, uh, compared to Rene Adair. So they're very similar. Now, moving on, we've got this guy, Eddie Nielsen. Um, very, very good player as well. He's actually one that really interests me, right? When you are looking for a center midfielder, the only thing that lets this guy down is his defensive awareness. That's the only thing that lets him down. Speed is good, acceleration, stamina. You want a box-to-box -box player. For a four-star nominating contract, he's not a bad pull, lads, if you were to get him. He's got excellent player skills, long-range shooting, rising shot, and first-time shot. But he's also got true pass and pinpoint crossing and one-touch pass. He's, he's also got early crosser for a center midfielder. That's very, very rare. So you could play him out wide as a center midfielder and he's naturally, his AI is going to naturally get into crossing positions. We'll talk about that in a future video as well. Long ball expert is always good. Low lofted pass is always good if you can do a lot of stunning passes. They're really, really good if you get a bit of space. And moving on to the three main guys. So we've got Pedro here. Um... Very good player as well, but I don't think he's he's going to be worth getting it simply because of the acceleration. I mean, if his finishing was like 94, 95, and his heading was like 90 as well, I would maybe say get him. But his offensive awareness is way too low. His heading is way too low. He's not an all-rounder. I would definitely skip on Pedro. I know some people will say, yeah, but he's got, you know, first-time shot, acrobatic finishing, and heading. I just think the lack of unwavering form... And the lack of that offensive awareness. I'm not worried about his speed or acceleration if his offensive awareness is up past the 90, but it's not. And then we've got Aras Kayeta and Hulk. So we'll settle on this guy. I think this guy is the pick of the bunch. I've come up against this guy a few times and he's been a monster against me. Double touch, long range shooting, pinpoint crossing, true passing. He pretty much has the best of all the player skills. Like he's got the best passing, dribbling and shooting player skills. He's also got really nice AI playing styles that when you're not controlling him, he's going to be obviously uh, getting into those positions. He's got speeding bullet, even though he only has 78 speed. Good balance, good offensive awareness, good defensive engagement for an AMF as well. And those passing, dribbling and um, uh, speed stats are really, really good. And I do like the unwavering form. He is a five star, which is obviously something that you're going to have to judge whether he will be one of the better five stars that they release. And he puts it in par with Hulk as well as a deep line forward. Now, if you are getting Hulk, lads, right? Hulk has unwavering form. Um, Aras Keita does have super sub as well. Hulk doesn't have super sub, but he is an absolute beast when you shoot with him. If you are a good shooter, right? If you shoot a lot of shots and you don't walk the ball in and do one touches all the time, then you can get Hulk. But if you are kind of more of a finesse player, more of a kind of a, you know, keeping the ball to your feet, um, I don't think Hulk is going to be recommended by me for you. It depends your play style. He's a very polarizing player. He's obviously a good player to have if you want to kind of mix things up. Um, but he's just got such weird player skills. Like he's got speeding bullet, but he's only got 78 acceleration. 
He's got pinpoint crossing for some reason, obviously because he can play as a right winger. But then the rest of the skills that he has, he's got long range curler, acrobatic finishing. He's got captaincy. He's got that unwavering form. He's got long ranger there as a play style um, and trickster. So he's a very unique player. I think the one thing that lets him down is nothing got to do with his stats. It's nothing got to do with his card. It's just that he is very hard to use compared to the other smaller, more nimble and athletic center forwards, such as, you know, Romario, such as Mbappe. And everyone has Mbappe now, so it's hard to kind of find a place for Hulk in that squad. But I definitely recommend him. I think he's an absolute monster. I actually bought the two of those, and I bought the centre back there as well. And I would, if I was going to buy one more player, I probably would, would buy this guy. He's a very, very good player. Very unique card. I don't think we're going to see a card like this for a while again from him. So if you are a fan of Brazilian football or a, uh, a fan of players like this and you're looking for something different, he definitely has so many player skills that you could buy. Um, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this player review. It's a quick one, but it's covering everything. I know a lot of people were asking me, they're the three guys that I recommend to get. And maybe if you've got a lot of four star, uh, this center midfielder as well. Other than that, I would probably skip um, but that's it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.